Hello everybody, AJ Rizek here, and today I've got a really neat tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to install Compiz on Ubuntu Mate 1404. Uh, this will also work on 14.10 if you happen to be using 14.10, although one of the tools that we're going to use, um, uh, Mate Tweak, is not included in 14.10, although it is possible to add Mate Tweak to 14.10, but there is a workaround uh, using Decomp Editor, and I'll show you how to do that as well, uh, but the Mate Tweak makes this a whole lot easier to uh, to do. So. Anyway, uh, we're going to install this all via terminal. So let's go and open up our terminal here. All right. So let me go and I'm just going to copy and paste from my notes here. Makes it easier. And don't worry, I will list all these terminal commands down below in the description just so that uh, you've got them all and don't have to try to memorize everything that I just did. So basically, sudo apt-get install compiz, compiz plugins, compiz, uh, compiz config settings manager. Uh, and then put in your password and boom let it do its thing okay so everything is installed it's going to close up our terminal and uh, there's a couple things I'm going to show you here first off we're going to pull up compass settings and you'll get uh, you'll get a little pop-up notification that basically tells you, yeah, you can really screw this thing up uh, if uh, if uh, you don't know what you're doing. So uh, kind of be careful with this with the compass settings. And then that other tool that I was telling you about, uh, the uh, mate tweak. For some reason, it's not finding me tweak. There it is. All right, here we go. So, uh, and I showed me tweak when I did my 1404 review. Um, allows you to tweak different things within the interface. If you come down here to Windows, um, you can see that you've got different uh, different settings you can make to the windows and then also we've got down here window manager right now we're using Marco and if you click the down button you can see you can switch it to Compiz before switching to Compiz come over to your Compiz config settings and scroll down to window decorations make sure that this box is checked uh, and right here where it says command it says user bin gtk window decorator basically what this command is doing is that when when this box is selected it, it's essentially telling comp is that for your um, for your window decorations your window borders that sort of thing you need to use gtk window bindings so um, Basically, if you don't have that box checked, uh, all of your windows will have no borders and you'll have no way to minimize, maximize, move them around, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, make sure that uh, window decorations is checked. The other ones, just, uh, you know, the first time you fire this up, you could leave it by default. Uh, I will do a follow-up video that'll show you all the different cool stuff that you can do with Compiz. And yes, I will show you how to enable the wobbly windows and the uh, the desktop queue because that seems to be uh, really popular stuff. Uh, I will show you how to do those. Anyway, uh, like I said, to, as, a, as a starting point, just make sure that you've got window decoration selected. Then you can come down here to Window Manager switch it from Marco to Compiz and boom there we are 
and as you see it doesn't look a whole lot different um, because we are of course using the um, you know, the GTK window theming and we're using the same theme as we did before. Now I said that I would show you a workaround if you do not have MateTweak installed and what you want to do pull up open your uh, deconf editor alright and we want to go give me a second here I gotta kinda of find this bad boy down to mate or mate and you want uh, where is it I think the session where is it mate desktop Find session required components. You see under Window Manager, it's listing comp is for mine. If I hadn't have, if I if I wouldn't have swapped it to uh, to comp is, this would tell you um, Marco right now. You would just come in here and change that. Type in comp is, and boom, that would switch it to comp is, and that would make it a permanent change. Oh, uh, you know, unless you come back to Deconf Editor and switch it back. If you wanted to just kind of test Compiz out and give it a roll, you could always put in a terminal com command Compiz space dash dash replace, and it would swap out um, uh, Marco for Compiz, but the next time you logged back on, you would be back on Marco again. But like I said, go if, if if you're on 1410 and you don't have the mate tweaks installed, install it. This may it makes it a whole lot easier to switch back and forth. And on that note, I think that about finishes this video up. Uh, like I said, in this video I was just going to show you how to do the installation. I will do a follow-up video that shows you. Um, some of the neat effects that you can do, uh, some animations, uh, the wobbly windows, the, um, uh, the, the cube, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, and, and actually that may take more than one video. We'll just have to see how that rolls. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is how you install Compiz and, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully it helped you out. Be sure to give us a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you are not already a subscriber. Uh, I think I just hit 600 subscribers, so uh, big old thumbs up to everybody that's been subscribing. Um, share the videos with friends. Get friends to try to subscribe. You know, try and get them to subscribe so we can grow this channel. And uh, you know, the more subscribers I get, uh, you know, the the more videos I'll be making. So. Uh, uh, let's keep this ball rolling. Well, thanks a lot, and I will see you on the next video.